vlog I hope, I hope you guys are all doing well so I've just got myself ready I am off to do taste of London which is in Regent Park Regent's Park which I will leave down below a little bit more information if it's still on and I'm going with my lovely friend Angie who you've probably seen a couple of times in my vlogs and we've been invited by Cafe Pacifico which is a really lovely Mexican restaurant which is in Covent Garden if you're around the Covent Garden area it is incredible it's so delicious so really excited for that and yeah we're just gonna have a catch up mooch around I think um, Emma and Oliver Proudlock's wine company is there, Quattro, Quattro Vin. So obviously I will definitely have a go at that. Maybe see if I can meet them, which will be really lovely. And yeah, just have a really nice day. The sun has come out, which is so, so lovely. And then yeah, I thought I'd take you along for the rest of my week. I feel like my title of this video is going to be what I ate and where I ate in London because I have some really lovely, yummy food places that I'm trialing out. So yeah, really lovely weekly vlog. And also so it's Helena's birthday. So it'll be a little bit of a special one so hopefully I can capture a bit just so we can save the memories as well but yeah so today I'm wearing my H&M old blazer with an Everlane t-shirt and some trousers kind of like a just gone to the office vibe these are some River Island tracksuit kind of smart trousers and then I'm wearing my lovely new balance shoes so i just thought this was quite a nice little casual casual but smart look but yeah i'm really loving this gray blazer at the moment so i'm trying to not wear my cream one countlessly so um yeah let's go hello guys so i have met up with angie hola <laughs> we've just done some photos because our outfits they're very very vibey today very vibey we're feeling like very minimalistic Vibey. Like neutrals and like so like effortlessly stylish. But yeah, so we are going to the Taste of London and we are firstly gonna go to Cafe Pacifico, Pacifico because they've kindly given us a gift of dinner. I'm so excited, it's so delicious. I've never been, oh. so oh yeah, we did say there's yeah. one. so it's in Covent Garden. I don't know if I told you this already, but it's in Covent Garden and it's delicious. And they're at this incredible, really exciting food market festival, isn't it? Yeah, um, really and exciting. there's different brands there as well. Yeah. You wanted to check out um, Proudlock, Swine, the Vino, of course. The Vino. The Vino. Get on the Vino. So yeah. Whilst we everyone's know. watching the football, I know. We're just like, we're going to eat. It's going to be. It's going to be quiet. Yeah, it's going to be really nice. Or we said it'd be full of girls. Eva um, Riva. Um, yeah, really excited. So. One we more will, thing. We'll taste everything and show Is you. Is it coming home though? <laughs> she had to say that. This is insane. She's home. <laughs> she is. Paella, some burger and lobster croquettes, mm. and a little slider. Yum. Good. Delicious. I have ordered some bit from And Other Stories. So, if you did see previously, I've done a And Other Stories try on haul in a separate video but some of the pieces came up too small around my boobs um, i think i actually bought them in a size four so i was being a little bit um too optimistic that my boobs would fit in them um but yeah so i ordered some of the pieces in again in another size and then i've ordered a couple more pieces just to try on so i thought i would try on these pieces with you 
you. Okay, so this is number one. This was something just very random, but really wanted to give it a go because I'm really loving maxi dresses at the moment. I saw that this was like strapless and I just thought it was so pretty and very like ballet like very ball gowny but kind of casual in a way so really wanted to give it a go I feel like it'd look actually quite cool with some trainers so um yeah I put I picked this out um and I thought that actually looked nice also with a blazer maybe some heels so I'm gonna give it a style and see what we think I love it's got pockets here and also as well the um bodice is wired and also as well it's got that kind of like silicone bit here so it really holds you in i feel like this is the right size but ideally i'd kind of think i'd want to go a little bit smaller on the top but other than that i just think it's such a gorgeous dress and looks very expensive obviously and other stories is quite expensive but this is so beautiful the material is absolutely stunning so yeah so i'm gonna try styling this in a kind of chic casual way and have a look at what you guys think okay so this was kind of the vibe i was going for i've paired it with my sage blazer and my new balance trainers and i really love the color palette of this i think it's so sweet a really lovely dress so comfortable and it's really lightweight as well definitely would have to wear nude pants with it just because it's a tiny bit see-through but yeah i just thought this was really cool with maybe a basket bag but then also as well you can really dress this up with some heels like it looks really lovely with a blazer so that's a winner I really like this I think it looks really pretty I think it comes in black as well but I just really like the cream I think it was really sweet so yeah this is a big winner really lovely okay so this is the dress in the bigger size and I'm not a fan of it so this is the cream version and it's like a, a bit more of a heavier material and I just feel like it sits a lot bigger on me so the other size the smaller size was actually perfect however so the top on this one is perfect for my boobs because it covers it really nicely but on the bottom I feel like it just really drags and wraps around and I'm just not a fan where the other one was kind of like that which looked quite nice I just feel like there's a bit too much excess material so not 100% about this one kind of gutted because I thought it looked really lovely and I've seen some of my friends wear it and it looks so lovely but I have got it in the linen one so I wonder if that one will be a little bit different so I'm gonna give it a go so this one fits a lot better it's in the linen kind of taupey material and I really like it and I've still just got my New Balance trainers on because I've been obsessed with them I'm so glad I kept them actually but yeah no this is definitely a better size for me it's super comfortable and I really love where you can tie it around here you can give an illusion of a bit of like hide in your belly but it's just such a really lovely dress to have in your wardrobe and um, you can wear it up dress it up dress it down obviously like I've got my trainers on but you could definitely pair it with some heels um, but also as well down to the beach with some sandals I thought that'd be really lovely well this is a very cute number i saw this because it reminded me of the I need to sort out my boobs they're all over the place it reminds me of the reformation dresses um just a little bit different it's very high up here i don't know if you can see but it really flattens on, you can kind of see it really flattens on my boobs here but it's a really cute dress this is really sweet really like the length of it i think it's really like comfortable and i got this in a 34 i believe and i love that you don't actually actually have to wear a bra with it but again like I was trying to say the fitting up here is very strange it's very high up I don't know if that is just the vibe of this dress and I really like the thick strap so if you did want to wear a bra you could but you definitely don't need to and I really like the frill of the skirt I think that looks really cute as well so this is a big winner and also as well I like that it's kind of like a body con dress but when it gets to the belly it flares out this is my kind of favorite body con style dress to have if i was going to wear one i'm not a massive body con girl i don't find it comfortable at all but this one it just is a little bit looser and it just flares out which i think is so pretty and very if you are conscious about your belly area so yeah it's a really flattering dress i think it's really sweet yeah but my only thing is it's just the the boob bit i think it comes up too high i'm not too sure but that it's really cute and it did come in a red as well so I'm gonna give this a couple of goes I like to like when I order a like haul I like to try them on here and there and just like get an idea for them maybe it's just like the day sometimes when I'm trying on that I can feel a bit rubbish like today so I'll probably try this on again in a couple of days just to see how I feel then but it's really comfortable that's one thing I must say is that it's really floaty and comfortable and again a really nice piece to wear during the day but also as well you can 
could definitely wear this at night time with some heels and a black blazer or a different coloured blazer. It's just very pretty. And then it's got, I don't know if you can see that, like a little ruched back in so quite stretchy and I think I went for a 34 in this as well so yeah really cute so that is the end of my little and other stories haul I'm going to crack on with some work because I've got a bit of an admin actually I think I'm gonna go for a walk first because I think it's gonna rain at one point so I need to go for a walk to get some fresh air um so yeah so I'm gonna change out of this otherwise it's a very extravagant outfit to go for a walk um and then yeah get some fresh air listen to a podcast and then come back and do some work this really is the bougiest multi serving cleaner I think I have ever ever used. I love it. It's so, guys. I'm just about to go on a Zoom call. I'm going to be offline. I'm going to be watching it with the company. So I'm doing a Zoom event with Pixie and they've sent over all their goodies. Me and some of my friends absolutely adore these. My friend Anna swears by Pixie. So it's going to be interesting to talk to the brand about these products. And we are having a vermouth. But yeah, we both got a vermouth in Hells' new cute glasses. I don't know if I showed it in this vlog, but we went and actually if you saw previous vlogs Hells went and got the vermouth glasses and they're so cute and I just love the amber colour I just think it's so beautiful and then like a gold leaf like kind of like an ivy I don't know what leaf it is going round but it's really cute so having a vermouth I'm also multitasking and cooking a risotto um so that's ready to go when we are back from drinks we're gonna go to a pub near us with finn and laurie and then come back have some risotto and hopefully be have it all. oh we having it before Drinking true 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 we'll go with the flow i mean it will probably be ready but um yeah house is off to do a tennis school <laughs> i'm on a beauty event and yeah cooking risotto Stunning. So we might eat before or after, but I will show you the outcome because it smells delicious. And it is Helena's birthday morning. I decorated it all cute. And of course, we're starting the morning with a smoothie bowl and some champagne. No, <laughs> that's for later. But this is what it looks like. So we're gonna have our smoothies and then head out for something. <laughs> it's the birthday girl. Happy. Hi. It's my do, birthday. Do you feel 25? No. Oh, show the ring I got you. I said I do. I said yes. <laughs> Yesterday. I'm so bad with like surprises. So I've got one more surprise for her. I've been trying to not like give in. But like this, like, yesterday she was like, oh, I'm, I, I, I'm expecting a ring tomorrow. You were like that, you were like, I hope someone gets down on one knee. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my god, no. But yeah, it's from it's from SVP and it's in her favourite colour. Where is my it's focusing? Focus, there we go. And I've got my orange nails to match. <laughs> An ode to Helena. Right, let's check into breakfast. Walk into Italian heaven. Oh my goodness. Look at this, lemon pasta, San Pellegrino. My favorite. Oh, this is it. Hells. Claudinho. Yeah. Non-alcoholic spirits. Yeah. They're really nice. Would recommend to a friend. Oh yeah, look at these. Oh Truffle. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you gonna guess? I think I yeah. Okay. We're going pottery thing. We are. <laughs> this is very cute. Well, I thought as well because you were like, "Do I need to wear anything?" And there was a yoga spot down here, so I was like, "I feel like I'm giving it away by us not wearing yoga stuff." Yeah. <laughs> so we're going pottery painting. Yeah, we are. If anyone wants to give it a go. <laughs> so you get to pick what you wanna. I don't know what to pick. So I was going to do a plate. Yeah. But the mugs are really cute. You could have mugs. Look at that. Do you want to show you what? So here's our flat whites in the mugs. Look how cute they are. Now we're so indecisive because we're like, these mugs are so cute. I know. Do we just do a mug? So I'm going for yellows. Ooh. 
Okay. Templates. We're ready to go. Bonjour and ciao, baby. I'm going for yellows. How else is going for purples? Purple, baby. So I've gone for a yellow theme. House has gone for a mixture of orange and purple on the top, and then green under the bottom. But yeah. we're not going to show because it's, it's a well. picnic. Le picnic and Narrative. lemon cello. <laughs> so that's the underneath. Very cute. Whoa! Very exciting. So impressed. Yeah. So this is what it looks like and you can kind of pick anything you want to paint. So we've gone for like these. They're kind of like the pasta bowls but plates. So a little bit of a mixture aren't they? Yeah. They're not the deeper ones but I quite like it. Small dish. Really cute. Small dish. Masterpieces. Oh yeah. Damn. Happy Bell's House. Oh, I just said Happy Bell's House. Happy, Happy birthday. Bell. So we're going to the social eating house. Are we excited girls? I'm so excited. lovely night last night it was so fun their food was incredible i'm gonna leave mm. where we went down down below it's called the social eating house and it was just chef's kiss the yeah. house is off to cornwall with our friend jemima yeah she's off she's out for a week <laughs> but i'm off to notting hill with lorenzo gonna go and explore the area go for lunch and i have to go and get a patch test with samantha Coswick because i'm doing a campaign with them so i'll take you along on a lovely day but for now Honestly, I'm so hungover. Yesterday was so much fun, but you know, and it's like a slow burner hangover. We went to, we got coffees, as you can see from last time. We went to Farm Girl, which was really good. And we got some cakes for tonight. We're gonna go to this um, Japanese garden, and then I think we're gonna head home, aren't we? Yep. And chill. Home. It's like six o'clock, nearly six o'clock, so we've done good. We've been walking around, which I think we needed. So yeah, and then we're just going to crash 
on the sofa.